Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. In this video we are going to take up one very very interesting and challenging question from radical rational equations. The given equation is 3 minus root x over 1 plus root x whole power 4 plus 1 minus 3 root x over 1 plus root x whole power 4 equal to 2 raised to the power 4. We have to find out real values of x. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation. Denominator cannot be 0 and for real x it won't be because denominator cannot be this root x cannot be equal to negative 1 and because of we are calculating real solutions so this won't happen so what i will do now i will multiply both sides with our denominator that is 1 plus root x whole power 4 both sides once i will do that i can cancel these denominators with this term so what we will get after that, see it will be the very first term would be 3 minus root x whole power 4 plus 1 minus 3 root x whole power 4 and right hand side I will write 2 power 4 times 1 plus root x whole power 4. Now I can consider this 2 inside the bracket so I can write 2 root x plus 2 whole power 4 because once exponent is same we can take the product of the basis so this is what our right hand side would be now LHS if you will see it is 3 minus root x whole power 4 plus 1 minus 3 root x whole power 4 now in my mind I will use substitution is running. So if I will consider this is my a and second bracket as b, once I will add a plus b, it is not matching with our RHS. So there is some manipulation required. So what I will consider now, because of powers are even powers, so I can consider our second bracket, I will take minus common out. So it is 3 root x minus 1 whole power 4 because of power is even it won't affect the equation now you can check 2 root x plus 2 whole power 4 now once i will give substitution as first bracket a let me write let us consider a let us consider b now you can see this term if i will add a plus b let me write here a is 3 minus root x b is 3 root x minus 1 so let me write in this order add both so a plus b will be 2 plus 2 root x which is matching with our so i can write this is our a plus b now i will use pascal triangle expansion so let us consider power is 4 so let me consider here I will write a power 4 plus b power 4 is equal to a plus b whole power 4. Done. Now Pascal triangle 1 1 1 1 2 1 for power 2 1 3 3 1 for power 3 and for our power 4 1 6 1 4 6 4 1. Okay so here we are having our coefficients for expansion. So let us consider this equation as a plus b whole power 4 equal to a power 4 plus b power 4. Now I will use expansion. So I can directly write coefficients are here. So I will write a power 4. Now if I will consider 4 common, then I can write 4 a cube b plus a b cube. The addition of power should be 4. And then this pivot term, 6 term, 6 coefficient that is middle term, 6 a square b square I will write. And right hand side is unchanged a power 4 plus b power 4. And see left hand side we missed out one term that is our last term, this term. So it is b power 4. Now you can cancel a power 4, b power 4 from both the sides. So what is left? I will write 4 ab common. So I will write in the bracket a square plus b square plus 6a square b square. 
now you can easily see ab is common from the complete bracket or rather is to 2 ab is common so i will write 2 ab common then what is left 2 a square plus b square and then i will write 3 ab equal to 0 now i will use algebraic identity that is a plus b whole square how i can write a plus a let me write directly 2 times a plus b whole square and minus 2 ab plus 3 ab as it is right hand side is 0 2 ab and put over there bigger bracket now you can see i can consider 2 a plus b whole square minus 4 ab plus 3 ab so i will write minus ab equal to 0 okay and 2 ab is there at the outside now it is clear a equal to 0 b equal to 0 and this curly bracket equal to 0 let us put over there so i will write a equal to 0 second solution i will write b equal to 0 and third solution which i can write that is 2 a plus b whole square is equal to a b okay minus a b you can take to the right it would be plus a b okay now a equal to 0 then what now you can see i have put over there a is equal to 3 minus root x this was our substitution equal to 0 second equation b equal to 0 that means 3 root x minus 1 is equal to 0 and third bracket is 2 times a plus b whole square is equal to a b i substituted a plus b directly from the rhs 2 root x plus 2 whole square a 3 minus root x b 3 root x minus 1 so here we can frame three equations okay now let us solve all the three equation for our solution so 3 root x so i can write root x is equal to 3 so taking whole square both sides i will write x is equal to 9 so from first a equal to 0 i am having x is equal to 9 now i will write here 3 root x is equal to 1 take whole square both sides i will write 9x is equal to 1 so x will be equal to 1 over 9 this is our second solution now come to the third one i will take two common from this bracket once i will take two common out then what will happen it will come as a 4 2 square it is so 4 so let me write 8 in bracket there would be root x plus 1 whole square done now i will expand this rhs 3 times 3 root x so i will write 9 root x 3 times minus 1 minus 3 then i will write minus 3x and then i need to write plus root x let's expand this one so 8 times a plus b whole square a square plus b square plus 2 root x and right hand side 9 root x plus 1 root x so 10 root x minus 3x minus 3 i will take i will expand first 8x plus 8 plus 16 root x and take all the term to lhs minus 10 root x plus 9x plus 3 it would be 3x okay plus 3x plus 3 now simply add whatever is left so i will write 11x 11 plus 8 plus 3 is 11 11x plus 6 root x plus 11 equal to 0 so i can write this equation as 11 root x whole square plus 6 root x plus 11 equal to 0 now you can see this is quadratic in a square root x if you will find out square root x value then this value will come out complex let me show you minus b minus 6 plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac 121 times 4 so 484 and you can see square root will be negative so you can reject this solution so let me write here rejected as it is generating complex solution so we will reject this solution so which solution is accepted let me write rejected 
so there are two solutions x is equal to 9 and x is equal to 1 over 9 let us verify both the values so i will write here verification let us put over there x is equal to 9 okay done let us put over there 9 so square root x is equal to 9 means square root x is equal to 3 okay so 3 minus 3 no need to check this bracket power is 4 denominator is 4 done plus 1 minus 3 root x root x is 3 so i will write 9 over denominator is 4 whole power 4 it should come out 16 to power 4 so this is 0 plus minus 8 over 4 whole power 4 so minus power even so it would be plus so let me remove this and once i will cancel i will write over there 2 so which is equal to rhs so hence verified now come to the second value x is equal to 1 over 9 second solution so once i will put 1 over 9 root x will be equal to 1 over 3 so 3 minus 1 over 3 over 1 plus 1 over 3 so i will write 4 over 3 whole power 4 plus 3 root x if i will write that value is 1 so no need to write this would be 0 so 9 minus 1 8 over 3 over 4 over 3 whole power 4 second term is 0 so no need to consider anything 3 3 will be over 4 i will cancel 8 by writing over there 2 2 power 4 so this is equal to 2 power 4 hence this value is also verified so our final solution becomes 9 and 1 over 9 i hope this video will be meaningful to you do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care